If you alternate pick through that scale shape, what necessarily happens at certain string changes from one string to another is that we hop over the string that we intend to play next and then come back and pick it. So let's go through the scale together and we'll find an example. I'm gonna go down, up. The A string I'm about to play on is gonna be a downstroke. Nothing inefficient about this movement here. Up, down. Now I'm about to play the D string. And instead of just playing it with another downstroke, what we all are taught to do as alternate pickers is play the A string with a downstroke, hop our pick over the D string, and then come back and pick it on an upstroke. So okay. it's inefficient, right? However, there is a significant benefit to it, which is this. If you become competent in your alternate picking, it's just the machine. It's a binary. It's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up as a, con as a constant, which means there is never any variable in which we need to consider alternatives. And we just let the, the machine go automatically. And it's great. If you're going to economy pick, you are constantly having to, and of course it becomes subconscious with many, 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 many months of practice, but you are constantly having to address where the moments are in each particular scale shape or in each line that you're playing, where you need to use a consecutive downstroke or a consecutive upstroke or an alternate picking mechanic. It's a lot of variables to consider for a arguably very marginal increase in efficiency.